Hi there. In this video, you learn how to quickly bring your data into RDoc by importing it as components and references using the Excel integration. It's a great option when you need to do bulk updates or changes. Here, we have an Excel sheet that we'll use to import applications, business units, and how they relate to each other. Each worksheet represents a different part of our mapping, and we'll see how they all come together to create components and references in RDoc. The application worksheet contains the names and IDs of our application, along with a few other details such as the service level agreement, the life cycle, and the last audit date. Next, the business unit worksheet contains the names of our businesses and their IDs, along with a few other details. Finally, the last worksheet contains the relationship between each application and business unit. In this case, which business unit owns or licenses which application. Now, say you wanted to add this data into RDoc. What we'll do is we'll go to the main menu, Home, click on Imports and Integrations, then click on the Excel import, and then click on Create New Import. Here, we'll upload our Excel file. And as you can see, each worksheet from the Excel file is now represented as a tab in the RDoc import process. We'll import our applications as components, and we'll put them in a new workspace called New Applications. Next, we'll scroll down to configure our columns. We'll set the application names as the name of our component, and we'll set the application ID as a custom ID. This will be useful for mapping our relationships later. You'll notice that the field name is automatically chosen from the column here, which also came from the Excel file. Now, we don't need to configure any more columns, but just to give some context, we'll also add the SLA as a field and the lifecycle as a field to the component. Next, remember to save your configuration in case you want to return to this sort of Excel file structure later without having to reconfigure the columns again. Now, we'll move on to the Business Units tab. We'll configure them as components, and we'll add them to a new workspace called New Business Units. Scrolling down to the column configuration, we'll set the country name as the component name. We'll add a field for the location of the city. And finally, we'll add a custom ID to the ID of the business unit. You'll notice the automatically generated field name is a little indistinct, so we'll change it to, to be something a little bit easier to discover. In this case, BUID. In the final worksheet, we'll be establishing a relationship between business units and applications. In RDoc terms, this is called a reference, and that's what we'll be using here. As the source component workspace, we'll use the new business units workspace we defined just now. As the target component workspace, we'll use the new applications workspace. Scrolling down to configure columns, you can see that we're trying to establish how business units relate to applications. And in this case, a business unit can either own or license an application. To continue our configuration, we set the column type to source and its format to custom ID. Remember the custom ID we defined previously, we find and select it. Continuing to the next column, we set it as the target. And again, we select a custom ID. And in this case, we select the application ID that we used in the import. Finally, we set the final column to be of type meaning that it defines the type of reference that happens here. And to finish off, we hit Review Import. The Import Review gives us a preview of the changes that will take place in RDoc when the import is actually executed. This screen is useful to review your changes and configurations before you commit your data. Below, you can see how each individual worksheet will impact your import. We'll finish up by clicking Import My Data. With our data successfully imported, we can take a look at the workspace that was created. As you can see, we have our country offices and whether they own or license their software fully visualized. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to customer support.